Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the ESL 1 Battlefield 4 Spring Finals. I'm your host, Mitch Leslie. I'm here with Jason Kaplan, rather infirm, but still absolutely dashing. I try, I try. Now, let's, let's take stock of things again. We're going we're gonna to bring it all back to those brackets and see now where we are in the grand scheme of things. So let's bring that one up and you can exactly see what the landscape of the situation is. It was actually, um, uh, yeah, well, it was Mitchell Makers versus MHSV will be our next match. Of course, those first two resulted in SK Gaming over MHSV was our most recent one. Mm -hmm. And Dexterity over Meet Your Makers. And we, we, we spoke about this probably five, seven, five to ten seconds ago. Uh, and your opinion is that it wasn't much of an upset, really, with Dexterity taking out MYM. I think it's kind of clear. I actually did an interview with Trunks before the whole thing began. He was saying Dexterity is a really good team. A lot of European teams need to watch out for him. And I feel like Meet Your Makers maybe didn't do the prep they needed to for that game. Um, like, you're playing against a top tier one team in Brazil who's lost two maps the entirety of all four cups, group stages, and playoffs, and you expect to be able to beat them with maybe not prepping as much as you need to. It's not going to happen, um, especially with their change in play style. But I think it wasn't an upset. I think it was almost should have happened. Um, but Meech Makers, they needed maybe a, a kick up their um, behind to really get going for this because you had all the time in the world to prep for this. Like, they had weeks and weeks and weeks. They had VODs to look at and everything. Maybe it's just kind of seeing isn't the same as playing, and maybe uh, they'll have to do a little bit better and maybe a second chance if they can get it. And look, maybe it's a disrespect thing, but uh, a little bit of disrespect in game is fine. You know, you can't give your opponents, you know, can't be too afraid of them. But maybe outside of that, you need to be serious about it. I spoke to um, you know, the guys from Fnatic, even in the game against Legionnaires, and uh, I spoke to, the, spoke to the manager, I spoke to Drunks, he said, we're 100% serious about this game. Now, at no stage are we sort of taking our foot off the gas. I mean, we saw some knives pulled out here and there, but their approach to the game was definitely quite serious. MYM were I mean, the only team that's actually taken a cup uh, besides Fnatic this season. Mm. Now, they were a team that actually knocked Fnatic out in the semi-finals of that one. So it wasn't like they just let SK knock them out and then take the finals. So it's clear that they've got the ability here, but I mean, outside of preparation, does it seem like they're plagued by any other issues? I mean, we'll probably see now, but it really seems like they are definitely behind the ankle. But I don't know, they were the only team who have had to go up against Dex yet. It's, it's rough to say. I mean, they were this top tier team back when the whole thing began back in winter 2013 14. They won the whole thing. They had different lineup, obviously, with Ducky Chan safe in there. Um, I don't know what it is, like, because they're kind of teetering on the edge of a bottom top tier team, if that makes any sense. And you know, you have the top tier teams of Fnatic up there, SK, Epsilon, and Meet Your Makers, and they're kind of like the fourth place team up there. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a little bit of you need that big star on your team because no one really steps up huge unless it's, uh, unless it's punch rule. Um, but I don't know strategy-wise, preparation-wise. I don't know what's going into it. I'd have to talk to them and see why they maybe didn't perform as well as they went to against Dexterity. But the match coming up is going to be probably the closest one we're going to have in the group. Okay, well, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be interesting. We have to see how... MYM bounce back after that ups what, upset, some would say. Well, we can't use that term anymore, unfortunately. But after that, if you think it was an upset, then it was an upset. It's, uh, that just bases upon, I guess, how much we know. But we're going to move into this next match. Let's see if MYM can make amends. Let's see if they can make their way back up, or at least through this lower bracket. Casters, it's all about you guys. Thanks very much, Mitch. It does seem to me that you can't quite hear me. There you can, as I'm joined by Brett Effects for this one. It's kind of the lower bracket. This is, again, the elimination match. I feel like these ones really can get extra exciting just because we have that extra factor of yeah. the team that loses this does go home. MHSV and MIM, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, uh, honestly, I think MIM should be able to take it. Uh, I, I think that uh, MHSV is a very good team, but I think that they have uh, maybe one or two maps that they're really good at, and that's about it. Uh, to be honest with you, I think that, uh, and, and that's what most players have been saying around here. I've been talking to a couple of players and uh, checking them out uh, to see what's what. And uh, for the most part, they've uh, they've all been saying, you know what, they're only good at about you know one or two maps. They got Siege of Shanghai and they've got Zavod. Right. So depending on how the pick bands go, might see a, a you know a two one. If if uh, well, I, mean, I don't know, yeah, we might see a two one coming out of this. But uh, for the most part, I think MYM should be able to take this. Yeah, I think that's a kind of a good point you've made there about their map pool. I've definitely, I mean, I've seen MHSV Siege of Shanghai, and it is terrifying. I certainly wouldn't want to be going up against them on that. But then again, when you have this limited map pool, especially when you're playing a best of three, chances of you kind of getting two of your favorite maps are so limited. Like, oh, yeah. you, it's not going to happen if anyone's done any of research. Well, and like I said, most teams know. So it's not like this is going to be a surprise for yeah. MIM, you know, I mean... Uh, I'm sure they're going to be able to say, well, we are not going to be able to take that one. You know, we're going to go ahead and ban that one out. Um, I think that we're going to be seeing Dam probably banned out as usual. Yep. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, most likely we might have one map 
that'll be in there for MHSV uh, from their pick of those two maps. That'll yeah, it's, be, it's, it's, yeah. It's, pop. it's a possibility. I think Locker is a map that we're probably going to see uh, if I think if I cast my mind back to how what we saw in MHSV. Every time they've been they've played, we have actually, of course, seen them kind of opt for Locker. I remember casting the online cups, and it was a case of uh, we'll pick Locker, and then hopefully it gets Siege of Shanghai. Either way, though, yeah. roster is on your screen there. Felix, Tayu, Mr. Gino, Banshing, and Etix. And they started to hit a bit more of their stride on Zavod uh, beforehand. And then they lost it. Yeah, <laughs> they they were looking really good against SK. Um, I was uh, I was in there watching. I was like, wow, they had like I think at one point it was like a forty ticket lead, and then all of a sudden SK just started chugging on back. Yeah, and uh, they ended up taking it down. I think only to about a twenty twenty two ticket lead, something like that. And then that next round, oh my god, that wasn't even a round. It was. They online. completely lost it. It's and, map vote time though, and let's yeah. have a look at that one on stage and see how this one is gonna shape up. I mean, you're right. You were talking about Zavod. They literally just turned it over. It's twenty six tickets on the half. Either way, though, Benny is on stage, and I'm not sure who that is from MHSV, but we kind of already kind of set the stage for how we see this one going down, and immediately, 100% so far, Dam does get eliminated. Yeah. We've seen that once so far today, one time, and that was SK And it was a ridiculous result as well. Yeah. Well, it, but that's the result you expect on Dam. Yeah. Almost every single time. I've never seen that map, well, in ESO 1 anyways, be close. So, yeah, Zavod is going to be banned out uh, by MIM. And there's Siege of Shanghai, so that 100%. is definitely yeah. not looking good right now for MHSV. Uh, Paracel Storm, ugh. I don't okay. know. That, well, that's going to be really good for MYM. I, I definitely like them on uh, Dawnbreaker. Locker, I think MYM is definitely going to be good on as well. Um, I haven't really seen MHSV playing Dawn uh, a whole lot, so I'm not really sure how they're going to be shaping up on that map. But Paracel Storm, I would definitely give the favorite to MYM. In the past, MYM has played very well on that particular map, especially with Punch Roll with the M416 mm. uh, or 16A4. It's one of those numbers and letters all jumbled up together. Yeah. But uh, he's played very well. It's a very good burst, you know, burst round fire. Uh, you're able to get those long, long, long headshots. And uh, he's able just to lock down, especially when you get up in those Bravo buildings, he's able to just lock down almost everything. Yeah, it's true. I mean, good point about the weapons, by the way. Why can't it, like, it's called like 93R or M4A or 4. It's like, why can't it be like bang, bang, one? Bang with silencer two. Like, good pistol. Bad pistol. Perfect. We'll go with that. There you know? You <laughs> yeah, weapons designers. <laughs> sort your naming system out. Either way, though, uh, you're right. Map 1 now will be Dawnbreak. And the interesting point to make is MHSV chose to play that. That was their pick. We saw then uh, MYM respond by choosing Locker. So I don't know whether MHSV, you said already that you, you think they're questionable on Dawnbreaker. You think that does favor the uh, MYM I, side? I think that every single one of those mats favors MYM overall. Gosh, okay, right. I, honestly, like, I really do agree with the, with the guys out there when they're saying that you know, CG Shanghai and uh, Zavod are really the two maps that, that MHSV shine on. And with them not being able to play those at all, that's going to be very, very tough coming back in. But, uh, I, you know, I, I do think Dawnbreaker is one of those maps where it could kind of go either way. Now, I mean, we saw MYM playing on Dawnbreaker earlier today. So they already have kind of like a warm up on it. Yeah. And it was a blowout. I mean, it was 90 tickets. You know, I mean, that's that's a that's a pretty ridiculous uh, uh, setup right there. So I don't know if uh, that was just the team that they're playing or maybe that they're having you know a little bit of trouble on the map itself. But I, I have never really seen MYM struggling that much on Dawnbreaker before. No, I think that's, uh, that's a pretty big observation to make, actually. It's the, one of those ones where you kind of, you look at the result and go, wait, that doesn't look right. Oh, yeah, I had that peg completely wrong. I had that match going uh, a 2-1, uh, and, and it could kind of go, it was a close 2-1 going anyway, uh, except for when uh, Siege came in. Once Siege was picked, I had it going Dexterity's way, but uh, did not peg Dawnbreaker going in favor of MYM, or, uh, or I'm sorry, of Dexterity. Like, MYM, uh, I thought for sure, because Dex has shown in the past that they are just very, very shaky on that particular map. But, you know, I mean, like I said, Dex is a new team. We're going to see a little bit more of them here uh, after this particular match. So really looking forward to how they're going to be shaping up against SK. Yeah, and that's going to be such a fun match to watch. I'm actually going to be able to watch that one. I'm going to sit there. I'm sure I'm going to take every second in to see how that one's going to shape up. But, I mean, this MYM, the fact that they're in the em em elimination is a statement about dexterity as well. They obviously got, yeah. got bested in that 2-0, and yeah. it's going to be interesting to see how this one shapes up. Five seconds then. MHSV up against MYM. One of these teams is going home. And it's time to start to find out who. This is gap map one, half one, as we're going to be seeing these two teams collide towards that B site. 
Yeah, Phalanx right there trying to get a couple of shots down range. Not able to do so on the C side of the map. Uh, curiously enough, very, very slow push here for MHSV onto that B flag. I think what they were expecting is MYM to have a little bit more of an aggressive style onto that Bravo flag, maybe catch a couple of them off guard uh, with uh, basically lulling, lulling them into a false sense of security, but not able to, uh, to get any initial frags there just yet. And this has been a very slow game. Like, there, there's not really a whole lot of killing going on. Uh, you know, a lot in the movement so far has been kind of stalled out for the moment. We do see uh, Phalanx right now waiting for a push over here onto that Alpha flag. And uh, that, Benny, though, with a really, uh, or uh, getting taken down, rather, over there onto Planner, so that is not going to be too good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we are going to be seeing that map starting to flip on over as MHSV will be closing in onto that Alpha flag. And immediately off the bat, you're going to be seeing that nice little lead from MHSV to see them going up against MYM. I'm need already 148, only losing two tickets. It's going to be a tough one for them to just immediately stabilize. Because this is something MYM can struggle with, is they're, they're strong when they get that lead, but stabilizing can take a little of extra time. So, smash it. Last man in the uh, squad is going to be trying to find something as uh, Klax is there finally to spawn in on him. And it's going to be, it's going to be a case of kind of regathering numbers. You can see that they're all just clumped up towards that C flag. And, oh, who is that making picks? It's actually Banshing, who's laying down the law over on towards the side alongside Etix. Oh, Etix down and out as he gets clipped on his way around. And now, I mean, they've lost three tickets so far. MYM, they've already lost about 30. This is a strong, strong start from MHSV. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, really, really curious to see uh, how they're going to be reacting and coming back from this right now. Uh, we do see that B flag still in the possession right now of MHSV. Uh, we are going to be seeing Ledge, though, in control here for MYM. So they're going to be able to try to make a little bit of a push here and uh, allow their team to come in onto that B flag. But at the moment, there is a two-on-two -two battle. We do see Banshee going back and forth right now with, uh, who was it? That was Flax, actually. And we, he will end up getting taken down from that ACR. And now A and B are in the possession of MHSV, and they might be able to lock this down. I don't know. Maybe maybe this is just not MYZ, M1's you know, map anymore. Well, I mean, you're right. They already posted a poor result against Dexterity. Now, though, MHSV, they chose to play this map. They felt confident on this map, and maybe it's justified. Of course, maybe a little too early to tell. They do look like they may be losing that B site on that uh, push from MYM, and they are off the back of that one. It's just going to be one man pushing that one up. In the meantime, though, there's going to be a 1v1 emerging on C. Flax trying to get, provide some backup. The nade rattles off, and he's going to have to get away from that. Of course, the reposition is starting to teammates getting spots though, and this should be an easy pickup for the smash you and Flax descend on the site, and the pick is there. Etix's head is dispatched of, and uh, now 134 to 107. Yeah, you know, that was, I, I, I don't know. Uh, they did end up getting the C cap, so they will be able to get control of that bleed, but they kind of had an opportunity to, uh, to kind of shift over onto that alpha flag. So I don't know if like maybe they don't they won't feel too confident with their uh, AB hold right now uh, at the moment, but uh, we are going to be seeing uh, at the moment uh, kind of a stalemate. It's uh, going back in the favor of MIM. They're starting to get that bleed, and uh, they're rolling it in at the moment. So we just see Gino starting to push in over here onto that C side. He is getting a couple of kills, and not anything just yet. There it is. He doesn't find it going down. And so MIM 105 kind of in the deficit. Let's see. Did we cover the squad wipe though? As Felix just quickly clinching the spawn in to avoid that full squad wipe. Let's hear what MYM are saying as they're trying to claw back that lead. Come back close to A. Stay close to A. I'll say B house. I'll say B house. Three guys seat. Three guys seat. One going seat up. Three out. 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 One overlook. One overlook. One overlook. Two sets. Two sets. Overlook low. Oh my god. Two users, two users. Overlook down. Nice scene. Nice scene. Top scene, top scene. One dead B house. Uh, over, there's one, one A overlook, take. A overlook. One. I'm dead, I'm dead. B house. A overlook. Ah, uh, uh, brick, brick. That's, I think that's safe to say. That may very well be the calmest comms I think we've listened to so far in this one here. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty kind of a quiet there for a little bit. But, uh, you know, at the same time, we are going to see MHSV now starting to get back uh, to that uh, two cap. And uh, they are starting to force their way into another back rage here. As you can see, it's going to be a one on two situation. Phalanx trying to go back and forth, and he does end up getting taken down. So, uh, not too good there. Gino is going to be in a position here, waiting for possibly players to uh, kind of run past them, catch a couple of them off guard from behind. But, you know, right now, they're just kind of milking it down. They're just going to be soaking up these tickets as much as possible. Nice trade there, actually, uh, to, uh, to stop any kind of push coming in onto that Bravo flag. But now we do see two man push coming over onto Seaside with uh, Banshee there to defend. Nice little hip fire spray to pick him back up. Uh, but he immediately gets taken down as well. So a lot of trades, a lot of back and forths. Uh, not, not too many, you know, just really, really solid two or three pieces coming out of these, these players yet.
Yeah, I mean, this does feel like both sides are kind of not operating at 100%. This time, though, MHSV are still holding that lead, and that's a statement more about how MYM are structuring this more than how MHSV are. MHSV, though, seem to have found their footing, and a couple of players who weren't necessarily fragging are now at 8-3. to three. Thalex is a big kind of uh, sign that things are going better for them. Banshing, of course, sticking with that Engineer Class Rock in 7 as they are going to secure that A flag. But it's going to be all they're going to secure. Yes, it's going to be uh, easy A B C hold for the MHSV boys. Yeah, absolutely. And I like where Etix is actually at right now because he's going to be able to get some of those nice, really good cross-map shots. Gino also going to be able to do the same thing. Uh, with them being up on top of ledge, that's going to allow them to really uh, basically uh, spot out every single push that MYM is going to try and make. So uh, right now, finally, Gino is going to be able to make that move. He is going to try and come around the corner over onto Planner. He's not able to get the kill, though, as he does get taken down fairly quickly there. Uh, we do see another push coming in from MYM, but they're just not able to get in there. That's the problem. MYM, they're, they're just just not able to get onto a flag. They flipped it, I think, twice now, but they haven't been able to get that two cap onto B site uh, for longer than maybe about 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, and I mean, this seems to me that MYM kind of haven't found their footing. Again, they are going to try and make a push for B, but every last time we saw MYM do this, we saw MHSV go straight for the retake, throwing the numbers, stacking the numbers, and a great pick up there as another man falls. This time, Punchrel was the man to meet his demise. It's now Smasher who's going to do exactly the same in return. It's Banshing, though, who is now down and out, and that B flag is straight on going to be actually this time held by MYM, and you can see MHSV starting to have some fleeting numbers and fleeting C flag as it's going to be a trade-off A for C. This is something that we saw them getting in trouble with with Dexterity. They went for that C cap, they got stuck in the C cap, and they were never allowed to get out of it. I don't really understand as to why they decided to rotate towards that Charlie flag as opposed to going back towards A and try and play a little bit defensively. They had to have known that those back A spawns were coming in, but I think that it's worth basically uh, enforcing that alpha flag more so than trying to just go in for a uh, just regular old flag trade. Yeah, I think you're right, and I think it's got to be said that these guys are what feels like incredibly closely kind of nicked at this point. 67 to 59, there's very few tickets separating these two teams. And I mean, it's, you said before the match, this is kind of should be uh, a 2-0 for MYM. You feel like MHSV just quite aren't, aren't quite on MYM's level. But here, MHSV are in 65 to 57, and they are showing no signs of stopping. Well, you know, also we have MYM coming off that really demoralizing defeat God, of dexterity. Yeah. So, you know, that definitely could play a part into it. And I was speaking to MYM a little bit earlier, and they were talking about how some of their players were feeling it emotionally. I mean, they were, they were pretty down about that defeat. So, you know, that could be playing a part right now in this very match, which is uh, kind of disconcerting when you think about it because these guys, I mean, they are past champions. I mean, they, they've been here before. That stuff should not affect them. Yeah, and I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, especially when you consider that when you go straight into a next another game and then it's against a team who you feel like you're better than, you posted good results in the past again, and then you start losing. Yeah. That's just, I, I can imagine the sudden, the comms just being uh, really kind of faltering, perhaps. Yeah. And in fact, actually, let's take this opportunity to listen in again and just with the MYM side, just to hear how things are going down for them now. Do a B house, do a B house, this one. Don't stack, don't stack, don't forget. Spotted, spotted. Uh, one. one going over look, one going over look in the tower, near the tower. Two two don't spot him, don't spot him. Got one. I still have two down. D flag. Potted overlook, potted overlook. Help overlook. Low is low, low is fine. Uh, Dead overlook. Nice. Last, last on C, last on C. Yeah, let's hold it. Come it's on, two now. Spawning C, spawning C, random. Two guys. C top, C top. Yeah, C top. Watch out bridge. Potted, spotted C house. One down, C top. More, more, more. We're gonna push bridge. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you on the bridge. Two down. One after. Two after. Two after. Two after. Two after. Two after. Two after. Hey, long. Oh, I am. Careful behind. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. Yeah. Just tell me. This is pushing A. Yeah, try to get it. Try to get it. Just believe it. Fucking hell. Two eight. Seems to me that the uh, MYM side are a little frustrated. Tensions running high, and I understandably so. 42 to 29, though, they have picked up a trip cap, and the bleed is on. MHSV really need to just lock this down and return one, even two sites to their control. Yeah, well, right now, the Alpha flag is in their possession. That does give them better map position uh, to end up coming down onto that Bravo flag. But really, I mean, the fact that Benny has control of ledge at the moment is going to allow him really, really good shots coming in onto that Bravo site. Uh, we are going to be seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we are going to be seeing two more players down below over here onto uh, to bridge. But uh, really, with them locking this down, 18 tickets left to 40, they are really, really going to have to uh, pull something, a miracle out. 
maybe maybe try and push out onto C, but even then, I don't think that's going to be possible. We see more back spawns coming up. Uh, that's going to be E-Ticks all the way in the backside of Alpha Flag. Uh, punch roll coming over here. And, ooh, does end up going down. Not able to get the kills there inside uh, B offices, but um, I mean, that's that's a pretty substantial uh, ticket bleed that we did see there for MYM, and I think that that might be the nail in the coffin. Sayo picking up a really good kill there onto that Charlie site. Uh, we are going to be seeing three players now primed and ready for MYM to push in onto that Bravo flag. Puntrel is going to be leading that charge, and I think that Sayo may have been able to actually clear out the backside of that Bravo flag. As soon as this cat's back over, I think it's going to be done. I think you might be right. Four tickets left in the MHSV bank, and they just stepped it up and managed to stabilize at the end there. MYM are going to be picking that one up with, uh, I think it's going to look like 29, potentially not, though, as the B flag does get taken away. And we're going to be seeing the last two tickets from MHSV trying to dwindle. Juno and Tayu still remaining, though. And all they're going to do is just try and cut this number down. They're actually going to do a pretty good job of it, as you can see wow. both of them spreading themselves out onto our B and C, respectively. And actually, that could cut down MYM's tickets quite a lot if they hold this spawn. So it looks like we're actually going to see Banshee join in as well. He's decided spawning in was a better option. And actually, they're going to be able to cut this number down considerably if they play this right. Yeah, well, that's going to be it right there. B flag <laughs> already taken over. But they did uh, manage to take down a couple more tickets. I mean, 10, 15 tickets in a match that close, that could be a decider. Most definitely, if it remains to be that close. It does, of course, feel to be a very much a momentum-based team. You can see MYM, you see Benny in the middle there, desperately trying to kind of give his team a little bit of confidence, a little bit, a kind of good feeling going into that second half. And I feel like, you know, coming back, turning away that deficit, which I felt like MHSV had control of for so long, picking up 20, it's not ideal, but it's something. Yeah, and you know, they may have been a little bit cold. I mean, they didn't get off of a game like we just saw MHSV doing. Yeah. You know, they just now played uh, SK, so that's going to be a little bit of a warm-up for them. And, uh, you know, MYM, they've been sitting around for uh, for a little bit. They did come off of that loss, so maybe it's taken them just a little bit of a, a little bit of a bump here to get back into the, the swing of things. So we should be seeing them, uh, I think, in this next round. Uh, they are going to be on the better side, so we are going to see them on the US side. They should be able to get that bleed right from the start. Uh, they will be able to get control of C and B. And uh, I think that they could come out to a very quick 15, 20 ticket lead. And if they can just hold that for the entire time, they should be fine. They certainly should be. And of course, the second map coming up after this one will be on Operation Lock. The third, if we need it, Paracel. And uh, you said before it's a map pool that favors MYM. We've already seen that some of these maps, or some of these holds that should favor MYM haven't gone their way. You said already, though, this could just be a case of them trying to find their stride. They may very well be there now, as that end started to indicate. And the pressure mounting for MHSV aside, who have yet, well, prior to this event, yet to have their full roster here in an offline event, now is really the proving grounds for them. Strong team online, well, stronger team online previously. This time, though, they're looking to really post some con confirming results. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're also another team out here that has a little bit to prove. You know, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about, you know, Dexterity and, and uh, Legionnaires. You know, those guys, they're kind of representing the whole region. You know, nobody really takes them seriously because they're not a European team or anything like that. And this is kind of their moment to, uh, to really shine. But also, you know, MHSV, they're a team that's never really, uh, especially in events like this, like ESO1, they've never really broken out as, into the top, right? They've done well in Go4 Cups. They've done well in, uh, off, you know, offside cups. But they haven't really done well in ESO1. They've always been kind of considered onliners, not really the best LAN team. But they, like you said before, They've never had their full five here at a land. So they got a chip on their shoulder. They got something to prove. They want to take this win and continue on uh, into the, uh, well, into the next eliminator bracket here. So, uh, and this is for all the marbles. I mean, you know, something what we haven't said, I don't think yet. The team who loses here, they go home. This is, yeah. this is it. This is their last chance. And I have to say, if we see MYM going home right from the start, that would shock me. I, it would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's be speechless. NYM out in two to, to zero two. That would be crazy. Either way, though, we are into our second half now of our first map of this NYM MHSV battle. On the left hand side of your screens, you have NYM. On the right, MHSV. And kicking this one off, I've already said NYM should start with the early two, and we'll see how they choose to play off the back of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, over here on to uh, B flag, we do have Benny starting to push up, as well as Punch Roll. Uh, looks like he was getting a couple of long-range shots going back in. Up, oh, he does uh, end up having to back on out as he is taking a, quite a bit of damage there. But uh, yeah, so a little bit of a slow start here for MHSV. But I think that if they, ooh, nice <laughs> I trade there. I love it. There. I love it. Yeah, Benny going back and forth with uh, Gino, not able to get the kills. But uh, that that's actually really really good here for MHSV. It stops any kind of pressure coming in on the backside of A. They don't really have to worry about any kind of back rages or weird spawns that are going to be coming back in. And uh, oh, if they can clean this up over here onto Boss, and they do, Gino right there with a really really good kill. That's going to open up ledge as well. And with A B flag as 
as well as getting that position up on ledge, that's going to open up so many possibilities for MHSV to lock down over here on C. And look at the spawns coming in. e ticks right there. Now all the way over here onto the C oh. side. That is going to be a lot of pressure put onto NYM. All he had to do was spot them out. I feel like he could have even not announced his presence for a while. Yeah, and he just, was just sat and there. And just provided like a, yeah. spinger, like a spotting and a spawning beacon. Instead, though, opted to reveal his location, and it has maybe cost him a little too much. Now, Flax on the aggressive. He's trying to find someone. He knows there's going to be a presence around here somewhere, and there is two to find. He does actually get caught out. Mounting the ledge wasn't enough. Ethics gets the better of him with the ace 23. Now, of course, don't forget, 21 tickets from the first half in favor of NYM is going to be that cushion. Is going to be that threshold that MHSV have to avoid as Tayu is just playing the bridge. And he's using that height advantage to the very best of his ability. Yeah, that, wow, that was another really good play there from Etix. He's going to be able to take down Punchrel coming in for a potential back rage. And we see Gino also going to be picking one up over there onto a ledge. I mean, uh, these one-on-ones are definitely going into the favor of MHSV. And Phalanx also picking one up onto a bridge. I think it's a four-man wipe right now as uh, MYM is really struggling just to get anywhere on the board. But this is what we saw in the Dex match. They got caught in C, and they were never really able to come out for almost a solid minute and a half to two minutes. Really, really does show. And they can't let this get away from them. They need to keep this game as tight as possible. Yeah, they really do. And I mean, 106 tickets to now 134 with M MHSV once again stabilizing with that uh, BA hold. Let's see for how long they can, though. It looks like B is going to be questioned, and the numbers don't favor them. Just Hunt Banshee and Etics remain. So that B site is going to be relinquished from their control for now. But we'll see as this one continues. Flax going aggressive. He knows there's going to be a player there. Mate, mate, there's going to be two there. He's taken down one with the AEK. Has to opt for an extra magazine, backing away to safety. And it seems to me that Flax is one of those players who will never take the risk. He's quite happy to play absolutely standard. And that's something that you need a presence like that on every team. Yeah, I mean, you, you need to play a little bit safe here, especially when you're in that position. He didn't really have the backup that he felt comfortable with. Smash U was a little bit late on getting up there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it never hurts to play cautious, especially in a situation where uh, you are an elimination-style, you know, part of the game. You already have Alpha and Bravo. There's no reason to have to challenge because you already have the bleed in your favor. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, very, very smart play, and, and that's what they need to keep doing. Ooh, Smash, though, uh, Again. getting taken down from below. Two players now coming back in onto this Alpha flag. Flax is in a position here to potentially take this on, but uh, he decides, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and back on, add those incendiaries, how annoying they are, as you do see them starting to damage him just a little bit through the wall. Phalanx now getting taken down from behind, and MYM has spawned back players onto this alpha flag. They could go in for a harass for A, which I think is smart, and uh, that, that is going to be creating a lot of pressure there for MHSV to have to either deal with this with the multiple players or to go ahead and rotate onto a different flag. Yeah, this PC hold now for the uh, boys in blue, MYM, are going to try and make, potentially tip the scales in favor of them. 21 tickets from the first half, of course, carrying them forward, taking a big tw chunk of 20 away from MHSV's 100. So it's currently 98 to about 80, as uh, we'll see how far that gets. <laughs> oh, smash you. Oh, smash. You got a really nice uh, two kills right there in a row. And then Looking Flax good. naded him. Flax just <laughs> threw a nade, rub rubbed it right in his face with that team kill. And uh, he's going to have to justify himself now with the revive. There it is. He's saying sorry. And he's put a bandage on it. So what is that now? A uh, suicide and a team kill with the nades? Yeah, I think he should, they should just stop letting him throw them. Yeah, just, you, no, you don't get these. Smokes, <laughs> you only get smokes. <laughs> and incendiaries, yeah. <laughs> so uh, right now we are seeing a, uh, a slight push coming over here next to Bridge. Uh, it does look like a smash you did get taken down. We do see Flax uh, up top inside B offices. Uh, so a really good spread coming out right now for MYM. They're kind of uh, locking down these, uh, these high ground positions. But uh, ooh, getting shot from behind, where actually did he come from? Where did T.Y. come from in that situation? That was... Uh, I, I, I think he just ran through Arch, did he? Mm, I don't know. Didn't really see where it was. I thought he was uh, nowhere near his position. But anyways, uh, we are going to be seeing now MHSV getting a little bit on the aggressive side, trying to uh, force them back inside of C. 84 to 87, though. Remember, we do have that advantage. 21 tickets for MYM. So as I said before, if they can keep it even like this, then it's going to be just fine. They're going to be able to uh, uh, basically just win on the previous game. Yeah, and that can be, I mean, that can be so important. Those extra couple of tickets that they managed to acquire at the end of that one. The last, basically, minute was so vital to uh, MYM's chances. And now we'll see already MHSV do stabilize with an AB hold. How long? That is the question. You can see already Etix is kind of starting to turn his attention towards C as he does get shut down. Now, Punch and Smash it. 
Maybe making a move towards that B site. MYM do get a near squad wipe. Just Gino remains, and that's going to be moving time. They're going to go for a maybe a potential trip cap here, as there's very little that they can do off the back of this trip cap. Looks like they're going to maybe gift them C, unless Flax has something to say about it. He's defending this site with uh, a little bit of a pizzazz in his uh, step as he's going to be trying to push for further forward and defend towards A. Yeah, and that was MHSV getting cleaned up every single chance. Uh, every single one of their players that were over there next to that alpha flag pretty much were getting shut down. Uh, we do see a little bit of a back rage happening over here onto Charlie flag. So I think it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one here. Uh, Benny going back and forth with that Magnum. So hopefully he can show us a little bit of a montage moment. He's trying to find it over here on the statue, but honestly, I think that Smash, who's going to be coming around in the corner, will be able to finish that off. So nice play there for MYM. They will be able to secure themselves B and C flag once again. But uh, it's still very, very close. And, you know, I, you can't ever really call it a, call it a game yet. MHSV could come out with a really good hold uh, and uh, lock it down but oh my god so just missed a good 30 bullets finally managed to get the frag but uh, you really can't afford to be fluffing your shots like that as that's kind of a very vital moment in this game a pivotal moment in this game where MHSV if they do want to pick up victory they need to start creating that deficit now yeah they need to uh uh, they need to come over here onto uh, to Alpha, I think. They need to stop worrying about on the seaside. I think that that's a little bit of a desperation move for them to try and go over onto Charlie. They just think, it, you know, I got to get a flag somewhere, uh, which, yeah, they do to a point, but they don't need to be focusing that many players. Oh, Banshing, though. You can't be missing that. Flag's just hiding into the corner. It's pretty much a standard spot that you can uh, kind of expect players to be hiding in. But uh, Banshing going right around him will end up getting taken down. Uh, MHSV, though, eventually getting onto that Alpha flag. We do see uh, Flax waiting in for the push coming up. We'll be able to take down Gino. So, so far, MYM starting to uh, lock this down. I'm liking the way uh, that they're playing right now. And also, the frags are looking fairly decent here for MYM as well. We have uh, 13 and 9 there for Flax Smash. You going 14 and 8. So they're definitely uh, starting to do a lot better in terms of frags than they were in round number one. Yeah, frags are kind of, kind of running away with it in terms of frags. 51 to 36. Uh, but the tickets don't represent that, and that's kind of showing the way MHSV have approached this game. They're getting the frags that matter, again, the pushes that matter, and they've definitely been much more solid at holding that B-hold. Yeah, absolutely. Flax, though, coming up over here onto uh, Planners. There are two players from MHSV on the other side. Flax, though, coming out with the hip fire, will be able to take down Tayu. I think there is one more player from MHSV on the other side. Don't think that he actually rotated enough, and he didn't. Gino does end up getting picked up. Now a one-on-one -on -one over here onto that Alpha Flag. Phalanx. Let's see if he can actually hold on to this. He can't. He does end up going down, but a last-second spawn from MHSV might be able to hold on to this Alpha Flag. This would be critical here. It would allow them to keep control of the bleed, and they will lose it. MYM, nice job there onto that Alpha site. Should be able to get the burn here in just a few seconds. And they're also uh, threatening over here onto C as well. So we're just seeing a lot of uh, flag trading over and over and over again. And that 21 ticket mark is coming up very, very quickly. We have about 15 tickets left. Yeah, I mean, they're running all short on resources at the moment, MHSV. They have, of course, felt like they've been kind of stable on B, but all that uh, MYM have done in response to that is just so, all right, then we'll take A and C and mess it around in the middle. You're going to be seeing them returning that under control, but they have so few tickets to work with now. I wouldn't rule them out of this one, though. Tayu does fall. Not the best scenario for them to be in is now currently MYM happy with this AB hold. They know there's just eight tickets left to slice away before map one is theirs and Punchrel rattling off a couple of shots. This looks like the MYM we were expecting to see in the first half as they seem to be holding this very easy kind of split pushing style as the A flag and C flag are soon going to be flying the MYM flag. Yeah, that's that's game right there. Uh, I mean, that was, that was really, really, really good uh, for MYM. And uh, even though double gamings aren't really that great, you don't ever really want to see them, you know, Know, just to end it out, they, they played that very, very well. So, uh, yeah, MYM will be able to take map number one, which means that we are going over into, uh, what was it? It was a locker. Oh, yeah, Operation Locker will be our second match. Yeah, Operation Locker, our second match. And we have uh, we have seen MYM on lockers. They took that to a very, very close match versus Dexterity. Actually went down to technically three tickets. It was nine for oh the first God, round man. and 12 for the second one for Dexterity. So, you know, MYM can definitely play lockers. They know how to play that map. And uh, we'll see if MHSV is going to be able to come out uh, swinging there and see if they can make it, uh, you know, try and take it to a map number three here because this is this is it. This is a really, really pressure game right here for these guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be uh, shaping up here or not. Yeah, this this is this could be curtains for the uh, German side of MHSV. They r really kind of have uh, pressure mounting upon their shoulders and they well, are well and truly aware of it. MHSV, of course, clashing with MYM aside who met up with Dexterity just previously. 
uh, the team all the way from Brazil. And it actually went a little to in Brazil's favor. I say a little. You said already that what was it three tickets? It was a, insane. A it was it, the first map was insanely close. Yeah, uh, insanely close. It was three tickets basically. Good you saw God. nine yeah. tickets for dexterity, or I'm sorry, for uh, Mym in the first one. After a comeback, by the way, Mym was actually down about sixty tickets. Oh, I was watching. And they had yeah, that yeah. massive comeback to uh, to even it up and eventually take that particular round. Uh, the next one, they were just. It was almost the same exact thing over again, except for Dexterity was able to close it out with uh, that 12 tickets. Now, Dawnbreaker, that was a different story. That was that was a shutout. <laughs> that was 90 tickets, <laughs> which is which is interesting because you know MYM, a side who arguably used to be good on, on Dawnbreaker, then co-imposed a result like that on the result like this on M against MHSV. Mm -hmm. That map's going to be out of their pool if they do advance. They're going to—they are definitely not going to be looking to uh, to play this one in the next best of three. Yeah, I don't—I don't know if they're going to be looking in for Dawnbreaker or not here uh, in the future uh, of this uh, particular tournament. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just on an off day, but uh, definitely going to be interesting to see how they're going to be shaping up here onto uh, lockers. If it goes to a Paracel Storm, I definitely think that uh, MYM should be able to take it. Like I said before, I think that uh, Punchrel is a very good player on uh, on uh, uh, Paracel Storm. He is probably one of their most consistent fraggers on Paracel Storm. I, I think I think he almost top frags every single time on Paracel Storm. So, uh, but then again, he's had some pretty rough games today. You know, I think he went uh, four and eleven in one of the mats uh, matches. Uh, leveled, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, he needs to uh, kick it up maybe a little bit. <laughs> and uh, start getting those frags underneath his butt a little bit more. But on Operation Locker right now, we are going to be seeing uh, MHSV on the U.S. side, MYM on the Russian team. Now, uh, in this particular situation, normally we do see MYM, or I'm sorry, the uh, Russian team with a slight little advantage. They are uh, going to be able to get control of that alpha flag first, and depending on how the frags go on the C flag, they could have a massive advantage. Now, what we have seen in the past, though, is M uh, MHSV, at the very least in some of the Go4 Cups that I've cast them, push on to that uh, alpha flag from the U.S. side very, very hard. Yeah. I mean, the, what they'll end up doing is they'll push, uh, they'll end up pushing uh, two guys over into mid for car. They'll put one out to C through C tunnels and uh, one burns and then one goes over through through beepers. And the whole idea of that is to just put a massive amount of pressure there onto that alpha flag, try and collapse in on Kind of just it. a pincer movement in. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it can be super overwhelming. And I think something that's going to really come down to this is again that mindset. Can MHSV keep their minds cool, knowing that they could potentially be a map, even a half away from defeat? Either way, we are going into this one on the left hand side, MHSV. On the right, uh, MYM. And we're looking to see what exactly how you called it that two push out on the, out, on the outside uh, area for MYM. They're going to be looking to try and take it down. This C flag, C control as early as possible as the camera tries to escape the battlefield. It's that intense. <laughs> yeah, you got to love that one. Uh, but uh, we are going to be seeing uh, right now C flag going over into the favor here of MHSV. There's the push coming up for uh, Flax, and he's not going to be able to spot him out just yet. I don't know if he actually sees where that player's at. Yep, Phalanx does end up going down. Nice play there from Flax. That was good communication, by the way. But three players pushed out onto that C site. That might be a little bit of an overcommitment. We do have Benny inside onto that alpha flag. He's going to be all alone, basically. Ooh. Oh, you take a rocket to the face right there. That's never a good thing. And all of a sudden, MHSV, they have a pretty darn good lockdown right here of the map. A and B will be in their possession. Uh, looks like MYM will be forced outside onto the back A at the very least. Yeah, it's not ideal. MYM, 145 to 134. And they're going to be looking to try and uh, stave off this bleed. They do so. A is now neutral. We'll see for how long as Banshee does fall on the A flag. That's going to be a three-man stack. It a kind of a big investment from MYM. We'll see if it costs them anything. And actually, why don't we tune into their comms and see how they're yeah. feeling as we jump on in. Let's see what they do. More security. There, no. there, there. Nice. And it watch the B long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banana, banana, coming in, banana. The only thing I have. Two banana now. Or C gate. Or Pony C gate. Close. What security? Yeah, banana, banana. Uh, two. I'm moving back. Go inside, A. I'm moving back, I'm moving back. Yeah, yeah. Pushing in, pushing in. Four, five, two, eight. Maybe five, I think. Behind one, a, more behind a. one more banana. Behind A. One more A. One more A. Inside A. Inside banana, really. banana. We are two, there are three. Banana still. Get the. Uh, one random. kitchen. One kitchen. A random essay, random essay. Don't spawn random. You want to spawn uh, One is holding behind the. Uh, okay, go for A, guys. Go, go for banana. A. Go for uh, banana. Don't go. 7 HP, 7 HP. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Go for A, go for A. They know their target now. MHSV do, do currently control A, and that seems to be the stack that MYM are going to be looking for. But look at the bodies littering the floor. It cost them four. That did not go to plan. And now the next question is, what do MYM hit next? Yeah, you know, right now, MYM, I, I think they needed to go for A. I think they needed to commit to that alpha push. Right now, B is going to be way too tough. Lord. Three players from MHSV already ready and waiting. This is one of the tougher flags to actually push back in on. Uh, they had Benny there for a while on the backside of alpha. He backed out, you know, so they had positioning there. They had the potential there for spawns. He even heard him calling it out. But uh, for whatever reason, the, uh, uh, you know, I guess the swing of things just did not allow it. Right now, we do see MHSV, though, locking it down. That's going to be Gino as he is going to be pushing up very aggressively. Aggressively, they're not able to make the kill. Four players from MYM now going to be making their way back inside. Uh, Taiyu, though, will be heading out onto the charge for MHSV. He may be able to catch a couple of these guys off guard using that ACR. No kills there. You cannot be missing those shots in that situation. But uh, so far, uh, MYM still kind of backed up inside this corner. Yeah, they've been holding this flag for about two minutes now. It's kind of MHSV have managed to completely claw back any sort of deficit they had and more, as now they have 122 to just 95. As finally, it looks like MYM have broken through from the cold. They're going to be taking their coats off and trying to find something towards this cell area. They see this B flag can be difficult to take on your own, even when there is just one man defending it elsewhere, though. It looks like Etix is making leaps and bounds toward that C flag, but Sayo may have something to say about it. Yeah, Sayo's going to have a really, really good... Oh, no, oh, Sayo! Sayo! You can't miss those shots! Oh, man. That right there was a game changer had he been able to uh, make those actual shots right there. But not able to do so. We'll be able to contest the flag, though. He is getting pushed from uh, both sides. So I think that NYM will be able to uh, finish out on the sea burn. Uh, at the same time, they did go over onto that alpha flag. No, still a one-on... Wow. Etix right now. Staying alive! Ooh. And he does end up getting picked up. I thought there for a second it was a trade. But uh, his C flag will be going over into the favor of MYM right now. B flag for the moment was touched. But uh, MHSV with those back B spawns should be able to hold on to this. And now with a two-on-two -two push coming in for that alpha flag, it's going to be a very, very interesting here for MHSV. Here they go. Flax ready and waiting in that kitchen area. He's going to get one. Back it away, though. He's ready to take this in the long game as punch roll and Flax pick up one apiece. And that push has been completely nullified as Fay Felix just sitting on the sidelines hoping to get some of those kind of exit frags as now Felix trades off. Looking good. Now Gino, the only man really from MHSV with a shot at the side. He's going to be acting as a spawn beacon for his teammates if he can stay alive. You can see Benny is going to be threatening. In fact, Gino is going to threaten them. It's a one for one. And actually, that's going to go well in favor of MYM as there is that uh, inability to uh, respawn. Or sorry, the ability to spawn as now MHSV once again just pushing off that side that's been given to them from B. Yeah, that was a really interesting little engagement right there. I don't think MYM knew there was a guy back there. No. They, they were not looking in that direction. I think Gino would have been safer had he just been able to stay, uh, stay safe, get those spawns off on him, and then push into A a little bit later. But uh, at the moment, MHSV is kind of stuck. Where are they going to push up? And we do see a one man uh, pushing up on C. But there's the uh, try and, uh, potential push coming in onto A flag. Not going to be going in their favor. Etix also goes down over here next to Beeper. So no presence going to be over here onto that alpha site just yet. And there's those back C spawns uh, that have commenced. We do see MHSV owning right now onto that C burn. But uh, that is it. The rotation's coming in for MYM. They should be able to hold on to this as uh, Flax is going to try and pull off a one-on-two situation here onto the alpha flag. And Flax is going to do a good start. Takes one down. Looking for a second as well. As Tayu has already been uh, eliminated. And he looks like he's just actually going to be happily defending this flag. Uh, well, I say defending. It's not actually his. He's just going to be trying to kind of cap it and defend it at the same time. The aggression is not taken down, though, as MHSV do crumble. But look at those spawns. That's a big, very blue bottom right corner of the map as they're going to be probably opting for that B flag. And the AC will be going to MYM's control. <laughs> That's a triple cap right there for just a few seconds. Uh, and yeah, that Alpha Charlie uh, bird will be in their favor for MYM. They're going to be able to lock this down. And all of a sudden, those scores uh, not looking so bad at all. 58 or for MYM anyways. 57 now to 60 or 76 rather as uh, we will be seeing them starting to uh, chug along here they are they need to stay alive really in this situation nice job there from flax able to pick up at least one there inside curve we do have a little bit of a back rage coming on the c flag but i think honestly right now mym they're going to be on the uh, the rotation here very very quickly here for that bravo site and those back c spawns are going to be incoming benny with a nice two piece oh. there beautiful job from benny locking it up and uh, i think that uh, they could walk away with this depending on where these next couple of frags are going to be. And Benny still, Benny, ah, oh, Benny. 
Ooh, nothing more can be said. He's just picked up. Look, look at that. Gino's just turned around like, nope. Not going anywhere near him as Benny, who is doing a fantastic job for his team. 12 for 6 is the score for him as an individual, but in, in general, 55 to 35. MYM have got a considerable amount of frags and a considerable amount of tickets. <laughs> oh Extra. my god, Smash you here. He's got to be pretty ticked off. Two 95 kill assists in a row. He's like, come on, guys. Let me improve my KD. It's only 12 and 8 right now. But uh, yeah, right now, MYM, they're starting to uh, walk away with the frags, and the rotations are really, really good right now. Every single time, uh, it looks like MHSV is going to have a little bit of an advantage. We see the really, really good rotations coming in for uh, MYM. Look at that. B flag just got wiped on. Already, they're starting to take it over. A flag did uh, go into the favor right now, but uh, I mean, th there's nobody anywhere else along the map. You know, uh, MHSV right now just does not have the defense. They just don't have the fragging power to hold on to this. Flag's just missing. Didn't connect with, quite with the Magnum, and that's, uh, I mean, it's slightly cocky play from him. Maybe he's feeling confident, as the uh, scoreline does kind of indicate that if they can set this threshold any higher than it was before, it's 26 on the half on map one. Here on map two, William can keep it anywhere near 70. This could very well be a strong second half. Yeah, they, they, yeah if, they, if they can keep it up around 60, 70 tickets, that is really going to look good for them uh, coming into uh, round number two. But there's still plenty of time on the clock. I mean, we saw MYM earlier. Yeah. 70 ticket deficit, able to come back from it and actually win that round. So it is possible. And they need to recognize that uh, MHSV is a team that can do just that. But locking down this Alpha and Bravo setup, we do see Flax inside. It's going to be in a one on two situation. We have one trying to push over here inside Kitchen. And it will end up going in favor here of MHSV with a four man push. Push. Uh, that is a big, big push actually coming in onto that alpha flag as uh, once again not leaving their players back to, for the defense. Yeah, MHSV really have one good push in them, and it looks like it's going to be more of a defensive one as they're going to desperately try and hold on to one of these sites. C is going to be the flag in question. Benny does get taken down all onto Punchrel now to try and take the remaining defensive players down. He does as Tayu does come crumbling down. Nine tickets is all left in the MHSV bank. MYM trying to keep this above 60 if they can. C flag under scrutiny. They're going to get that, and the bleed will once again continue to tick away as just seven make it six left for MHSV. Yeah, and if you take a look right now at the KDs, what was one of the things that we mentioned right at the beginning of this match? Punch roll needs to wake up. Yeah. 19 and 9. He's definitely waking up here at the moment. And uh, that is definitely going to be a huge asset for MYM as they're just oh. going to be walking all along here. And uh, Punch Roll still going to be downstairs trying to get those Magnum shots, but not able to connect with any of them. Flax uh, will be down below in a one on one over here next to A. Ooh, goes down though. That was Banching with the frag. So MYM. Slightly oh, no. losing it. Is this, is this tech territory all over again? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It can't be that bad. Two tickets to 51. Let's see how many players are actually up for Oh, it could be. Everybody is up for MHSV right now. And if they can keep their uh, their defibs right now, it could possibly happen. e doesn't have him going down. Felix uh, will be following it back up with a res of his own. And uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of players going down right there inside that C site. MYM, though, coming back around from the outside. That's going to be Punchrel with a big two-piece. And that will lock it down. Complete squad wipe right there for MHSV. And uh, 44 tickets. Not as bad as what it was, 65. But still, 44. Not, not too... Not too comfortable. Yeah, not too shabby. I mean, 44 is going to be a uh, big result. You can see they've got kind of smile on their face. They feel like that's a good result for them, oh, and yeah. I think that's a necessary. MHSV not so happy, and you can see the on the uh, scoreboard that we had Punchrel on 24, 24 to 10 10. when that one ended. 15 to 4 for Flax. Sayer rocking 16 to 10, as well as, of course, Benny and Smash, who only one or two frags behind. Like, I mean, that is, uh, that's just a really overall strong performance from MYM. It felt like every single player kind of uh, kind of was spoken for and demonstrated their ability in that one. It's great to see Punchrel at the top of the scoreboard again. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's one of the things that they were saying. Punchrel, once he <laughs> wakes up, he? Yeah. he's one of those guys that can just take, you know, run away with the game. And uh, you, you don't ever want to have your team based around a fragger like that because if he is ever just one night cold, then you're you know, kind of up a creek there. But, you know, uh, with him now showing up, he definitely is going to be uh, uh, powering MYM through this, and they may be able to take this 2-0. Uh, with them having uh, currently, you know, 50, uh, what was it, 50, no, 44 tickets, they are going to be having the slightly harder break outside, but, uh, I mean, they have tickets to play with right here, and they're really going to have to mess up. This right now is their game to lose. Okay, so, so the stage is set. MYM really have to uh, kind of tighten any sort of leaks that they may have and focus everything they can on this half in hand. Things can get messy if you go into a third, but if they just end it now, send MHSV home in advance, 
they can ha kind of have a degree of confidence well, as they, they proceed. If they go 2-0 on this one, this is also going to be a confidence booster. Yeah. You know, they're going to be like, all right, whew, all right, we, we lost one 0-2, but hey, at least we took down MHSV 2-0. We're yeah. now going to be moving on. We have one more chance to stay alive. And they're going to be facing off against the, uh, the loser of the SK Dexterity Gaming, which uh, will be interesting because they could potentially be facing off Dexterity again uh, tomorrow. But uh, that, that's definitely going to be a good match uh, nonetheless. But, uh, you know, like I said before, if, if it, I really don't think this is going to come down to how well MHSV plays. I think it's going to be how, uh, how well MYM plays. I think it's going to be, like I said, all their game to lose or win. And so, MHSV, while they do try and find the best spawns, have a whole lot on their plate. Gino, Banshing, Tayu, Felix, and Etix with it all to do. So, Benny, Puntrell, Flax, and Smashu on the left-hand side of your screens, just looking to wrap this one up, put a bow on it, and get it under the tree. 44 is the threshold from the first half, and it's going to be a nice, comfortable cushion for MYM, assuming that they can get a kind of stable start. You said already they have the harder side, so we're not we're expecting us maybe an early MHSV uh, advantage? Well, it, it depends on that, what, the, how the kills go down on C flag. If MHSV is able to get that entry flag, then they're absolutely going to get Charlie flag. It, it's almost a guarantee. Uh, we are going to be seeing uh, MYM, though, going up through the center of the map. I'd like to see more pressure being put over there onto B site, but that's just not going to be the case. Yeah, Benny uh, will be positioning himself here to try and cut off anybody uh, pushing back and onto that C site. Does get shot from behind. Uh, but we are going to be seeing uh, Taiyu, though. Nice little play there. Comes all the way around on the outside of the hill. We'll be able to get the frag as his body is now rolling all the way down on the backside of that mountain. But MYM will be able to secure themselves that C site. And uh, now it's going to be up to the fence over here onto that Bravo flag as uh, we will be seeing Banshee right now with Gino to try and uh, clean up this B site. And here they are. Benny's going to be the first to run into Gino. Gino is no longer with us as he picks up the quick one. And now Felix looking for another. This is great work from MHSV, but not great enough. Puntrel picking up when he, when he needs to, and now B-Site is neutral for now. Both sides can be battling to take control, as you can see that there's just a swarm of players around that B-Site. Elsewhere, though, on the map, you can see Flax and Seo heading in to a 2v2 in the MHSV layer of A. Yeah, there it is. Uh, first kill, though, will go over to Etix and the second one as well. So really nice play now down to a one-on-one, -on -one, but Phalanx not strong enough there as Seo will be able to finish out that last and final kill, securing themselves that alpha uh, site. And that's going to be a triple cap with a squad wipe on top of it. And uh, yeah, we are just seeing MHSV starting to fall apart little by little here. And uh, this is not something that they can afford to do at this stage of this particular match. They're going to have to push back in onto that alpha flag. We do see uh, it looks like Punchroll shaping out over here uh, onto a C flag at the same time smash you able to get a couple of kills can he actually clean this up he does oh. with the 93R inside connector very good play there from MYM and uh, yeah I think they were going to be perfectly content with just leaving C out for MHSV I mean there's no reason to have to lock down a three cap for this long no, you're right, and I think it's going to be quite a comfortable position now for MYM. Going to keep the AB hold, force them out in the cold, and we saw what happened last time, where actually MHSV managed to keep MYM out on that C flag for a, re a real reasonable amount of time. Whether or not MYM can do the same to MHSV remains to be seen. Smasher getting a little aggressive, pushing out, wants to try and catch someone out with the angle outside, but he's just going to abandon the A flag. All of a sudden, it all comes down to Seo. The weight is mounting on his shoulders. It's too much. Felix gets the better of him with the AEK. Suddenly, though, Felix realizing, hang on, there was another one here. Where's Smashu gone? Smashu's actually completely abandoned it. He's decided, right, screw that. I'm heading to C. Or at least trying to catch them off on the rotate out of A. Instead, though, he backs up, tries to readdress the situation. He's going to decide that C is probably the better option. Well, he should have uh, he should have made that uh, you know choice a little bit uh, faster there. We do see Seo now coming in onto that Charlie flag as uh, he's going to begin a one on one situation over here next to uh, to Hill on top of that C site. Not able to find him just yet. That's going to be Gino going back and forth. Ooh. Will be able to win out eventually in that gunfight. A little bit low there. At the same time, Benny will end up finding one sitting up on top of Mountain as well. So uh, they're just going back and forth, back and forth. But Benny not able to make the kills when he needs to. So Seaside will be getting flashed, but they have to be careful here. As uh, we're also going to be seeing a push coming in onto that alpha site. TY is going to be coming in. No kills there for MHSV. So uh, that will be an alpha Charlie hold for MYM. 96 tickets left. Uh, remember, we do have that 44 ticket disadvantage like coming in round now. number two. Yeah, it's about 50 tickets. 118 to 50. That is no uh, easy task now for MHSV. German side fighting to keep their place here at the ESL 1 Spring Season 2015 Finals. And now 
And the man falls. Seems to be the body's letter in the battlefield as MHSV keep getting bested. Four men went down there, just Essex remaining in the squad. And he is currently at the bottom of the scoreboard and is going to continue to be so as Smashu takes him down once again. 118 now to 80. Four man ripe right there. Four man wipe. And uh, I think that's going to be the, the tail here for the very ending of this match. Uh, look at this really, really good spread here from MYM. I like the way that they're kind of just uh, playing this massive defensive, you know, ring, not really pushing it into to that Bravo site all too much. We do have uh, Benny circling back around inside that Alpha flag. We do see Punch Roll uh, ready for a push coming over here through Beepers, though. It's not going to be just, oh, it is Magnum shot right to the head. We'll be able to take him down. Benny will try and follow it back up with a Magnum of his own. He's looking for any kind of a peak coming in there a little bit slow there not able to make it happen but uh with that two flag advantage still in their favor they did rotate over there onto that beat and a c side so they will be able to continue on bleeding this team out and there's really no stopping this right now i mean 20 tickets left in the mhsv bank they feel like it could <laughs> excuse me very well be over and the answer will be provided as soon as MYM decide that they want to kind of maybe maybe just tighten the grip on the MHSV boys you can see they have given them a little leeway on that C flag it's going to be captured over no it's not Punchrel says no and Mr. Gino is going to be shaking his head as he is now down and now it's actually Felix excuse me who has been taken out six tickets now remain for MHSV and it looks like the German side the home side potentially could be going home with the tail between their legs well, they won't have far to go. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Unlike Legionnaires. Uh, oh, my. That's just mean. Uh, you're really dogging them, man. I love them, but uh, <laughs> it's just... It's, I'm just... I think it's because I'm upset they're not got further. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. So there's the GGs being thrown out. Congratulations there to MIM. They are going to be able to secure themselves at least to Sunday. And they're going to have to face off against the loser of SK and uh, uh, Dexterity, which is going to be coming up here in just a few short moments. So uh, definitely some really, really good matches still left for tonight. Really good match, I would have to say, left for tonight. Possibly the only match that's going to go to a map number three. We haven't seen too many map threes, have None? we? So far, it's been 2-0 sweeps throughout. You're not... I, I'm pretty sure it's been 2 O's across the board, unless it was God. one that I didn't cast. No, you're, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. We have not seen a third map yet, and so... Maybe, just maybe, the answer could be provided with that next game. Yep. And what a game it shall be. We now, of course, have our confirmed uh, kind of team waiting for them. We're going to have MYM waiting in the sidelines, probably watching that game like a hawk to see yeah. who performs the best and who they need to keep their eyes on. I would imagine that there's going to be a couple of teams that are going to be watching Dexterity here. Yeah, oh yeah. Because honestly, you know, they're, uh, well, I was talking to Fnatic. Fnatic thinks that they're going to be making it to the finals uh, or that they have a really good chance of making it to the finals. Okay. Uh, I was talking to Drunks earlier. They, he, he definitely said this is going to go to a map number three. Uh, I was talking to uh, a couple of the other teams. They're saying that Dexterity is going to go fairly far in the tournament as well. So everybody's like, they're looking at Dexterity. They know. Yeah. These guys, they came to play. They came here. They're hard-nosed. They're going to be a team that we have to watch out for. So I would imagine that a lot of these teams are at least going to have their captains, maybe one player, staying back behind and watching them to 100%. see how they're going to play. But then again, they really don't have any set style of play. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's random. I would have to say that Dexterity is more like, um, let's go Miyagi on them. They're more like Wada. Okay. They flow. They flow. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of, they're kind of a little where you know a little okay. bit everywhere on the map, uh, and it really depends on how the, the match is going. If if it, if they feel like they need to lock it down, they can. Yeah. But for the most part, they're going to be up nose, uh, uh, up in your face. Oh my god, I can't even talk. And they're going to be basically aggressive, 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 aggressive. Yeah. Which is what we saw. They were zerging almost constantly. I was talking to a couple of the MYM players, and they were like, "Yeah, they, four guys always. Every yeah. single time we played against them, it was four people in our faces." I was talking to drunks before. And he actually said, this SK Dexterity game is going to be insane, primarily because, thinking about it, they basically play exactly the same. It's going to be like yeah. water versus water. Like, what's yeah. going to happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, though, uh, I'd love to see how that one shapes up. And uh, I think we're going to head over to the desk to see what Mitch has to say. Thank you, guys, so much for taking us through that one. I'm here with Smashy from MYM. Bit of a ground-out victory there, mate. How are you guys feeling after that one? I feel really well. After falling short to dexterity in the first game, we feel like we could close this one out and we just played really slowly, like we, we analyzed how they played, because we haven't played them in a long time, so I think we managed to counter them pretty well, even though it was getting rough on Dawnbreaker in the first round on Looker as well, I think we managed to do a pretty good job. And is that normal for you guys to sort of like to sit back and play slow and analyze? Is that a normal style for you? I mean. Uh, it depends on how we, what opponent we're facing. Sure. 
and when we were playing dexterity, which we have never played before, we kind of choked, I guess, a bit, I guess, because we couldn't handle the way they played. Because it's something different. I mean, a lot of teams struggle against dexterity, but uh, we just try to adapt. That's all. We just we don't have really any special tactic, really. We just, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, in terms of the dexterity, I think uh, you might have been the first to to struggle with the way they play. I think you'll be the last, though. But let's talk about this, because if they do go down to SK Gaming uh, in this next map, and some people think it might go quite close, you will, will we be playing them again? Uh, we will be playing against them again for your shot to get into the playoffs tomorrow. Yeah. What changes for you guys, if that is the case? I guess, I mean, uh, they have a really aggressive playstyle, and they also adapt really well. Like, they know when to hold and stuff, so they're it be a little bit similar to us, but we'll just have to look, look through some demos tonight, maybe, of yep. them playing. And, but basically, just when we play them, just play better than we did today. We, I, think, I don't think we could have played the max we, we can in the first game today. So maybe just practice some TDM tonight and get ready for yeah, dexterity, so. maybe? Yeah, on oh. my iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true that. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me, mate. Yeah, thanks. And good luck to you guys in your next match. We'll Thank see you, so you yeah. real soon. Okay. So that is that sorted. The next map, of course, will be well, a bit of a blockbuster. It's going to be SK Gaming and Dexterity. Let's bring up the bracket and have a look at where we're at in the grand scheme of things here. So, of course, that last match was our lower bracket first game. That was Media Makers 2-0 over MHSV Esports. Unfortunately, the Germans will be bowing out and heading on home. So we're going to see now SK and Dexterity, of course. And the loser of this one will be dropping down tomorrow to play uh, against MYM, and that's MYM's chance to come back after that loss to Dexterity. Well, how will it work out? We don't quite know, but we're definitely going to be seeing how Dexterity go up against the French bit here. As the caster said, water v water, it's going to be aggression on aggression. The question is, who's going to have a little bit more of the, of the, of the gumption, I guess, to take it out? Find out soon. Stay with us, we're back after a short break.